Well, I got this fork head checked out, but I haven't shot it yet. It's kind of interesting. So the uh, the safety issue was simply the screw in there that holds the safety bar on. It's loose. Just tighten it up, and I'm fine. And I got the choke loosened up. And these are, are really different. Okay. Uh, it's a simple way of doing it. It makes sense. But the barrel has got slots cut in it. When this screws in, that cone just pushes these down. And that's what chokes it. There's a little gauge on here where you set her to where you want to be. So I'll put her on. Well, it's got cylinder, modified, and full. And we'll run right in the middle, put her on modified. And I'm still missing the uh, the bead for the fire indicator, but I ordered one from Numerich. Uh, they're good about having that kind of stuff. But I got a couple peeps, well, three peeps. You know, holes three shots, I got three peeps on that wire there. I think I'm too close here. I'm not that far away. I'm going to open her up. Well, I made a jump. Well, I, I, I shouldn't get too carried away. I know it before when I was shooting peeps. The babies go right through them. And I have to say these are high brass. So I am going to have to start reloading these, but it works fine. You know, excellent gun, and the only, the only flaw in the whole thing, you know, once I get that bead in there, is just a little scratch on the finish, and I think I can find a way of taking care of that. Otherwise, yeah, really nice gun, but I'll have to get a reloader. Yeah, they were all hit. They just. You know, uh, soft enough that the uh, babies go right through them. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six babies hit that one. Well, that's dead. Three on this one. Only one on this one, but it took his eye right out. So he wouldn't have went far.